Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer. Today we're going to be covering the last bits of the Prepare Forms tool. Part one covered the basics of adding some fields to a form. Part two covered more advanced options and manipulations with fields and the form data. But today we're going to be looking at the distribution and tracking of forms. So let's get into it. So say we have our lovely little form like this. No data is in it, but we have to get it to people. Well, there's no use for a form if there's nobody to sign it. So we have to find a way to distribute it. And the pair of forms tool in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC has just the capability with the distribute and tracking tool. But first, we've got to save the document as always. Uh -huh. So we have the options to distribute the form via email or by setting it up on an internal server, via SharePoint server, or a network folder. Personally, I do not have the expertise to set up this server, but I can show off how to do it through email. So basically, it's pretty simple. You'll just send the form through Acrobat, and then you've got this screen right here. So you can put in a list of email addresses that you want to send this form to, and then it'll have this message down here, and automatically it'll have the form attached to it. So you input your emails, and then you click send. Now, in the interest of time, I'm not going to do this since I've done this before, but I'll just show you what this will look like on the from the recipient and the distribution end. So let's take a look at this. So when you distribute this form out, the recipient, every recipient that you send this to, will get an email. So you'll say, you're invited to complete this form. You can use Adobe Acrobat or Adobe Acrobat Reader to fill in this form. Now note, pay special attention to this sentence. It says you can, but it really, it really should say you should use Acrobat or Acrobat Reader to fill in this form, since web browsers, lightweight browser-based PDF viewers, so like for Chrome, Firefox, etc., they don't have the functionality to handle the distribution and tracking of PDF forms, but Acrobat Reader definitely does, so I absolutely would recommend getting Reader before you open up a form like this for distribution and tracking, but let's open it up, see what it looks like, click out of that. So here's our form. Now note that you'll know that the distribution and tracking functionality is working if you have this purple banner at the very top. So it'll say, when finished, click Submit Form to return the completed form. So you'll just fill out your data. Mm -hmm. So then you would click Submit Form, and it'll send, it would send it back. And then the original distributor would receive this email. So with the filled in completed form. So then once the distributor has received the filled in form back, they have this option to add to an existing response file or create a new response file. And we're just gonna add this and note it's gonna give me an error since I've done this before. I've actually gotten rid of it, so I'll create a new one. Okay, so here's the form response file, the tracker file. So basically every recipient that gets back to you with a filled in form, you can add their data to this to this tracker. And so it only has one it only has one file in it for now, but you could have quite a lot of files in here. And from here you could individually extract each file or you could export them as we did in part two, we could export them to a CSV file. So you could export all to a CSV archive them, add add files, delete files. And yeah, that's how you would use the distribution and tracking for the prepare forms tool. One last thing of note, uh, let's just close out of these. One last thing of note with prepare forms, if you do click this option down here, this document requires signatures. If you click that option, then instead of distribution and tracking, you would have Adobe Sign. And then from there, it would integrate into the Adobe Sign tool, which will be covered in the next tutorial, actually. So until then, my name is David Wilmer. Next time, we'll be covering Adobe Sign. And 
take care everybody.